okay, we're doing voice meter. Here we go again. B before, before I even get into it, before you start typing that comment, okay, so I just moved into this house, right? I got hardwood floors, okay? My, this room is not treated well. So I know that I'm the audio guy. I know that I'm making a voice meter video. I think it's good enough. It's just the room, okay? I know voice meter. I promise you I know voice meter. I can help you with this. Uh, so that's my long-winded apology as to why the audio guy has a, an echoey sounding mic. My Discord uh, is a place that I offer you guys to come and join and hang out. And if anyone needs any help with voice meter, any questions, just short of me doing it for you, okay? I made videos. I made videos for this. I'm not doing it for you, but if you have questions, come and ask. I have an FAQ channel. I have a questions channel. You can come and talk to me. As of today, my setup's a little bit different, and I just want to share that with you guys so you can also have this low latency uh, and no voice cracks, no bugs. Okay, so first, I will talk about the latency. I will share my screen. I'll switch to that. Okay, so here's voice meter. First thing that we wanna talk about here is in the system settings. Assuming that you have voice meter set up, I'm just gonna hit some bullet points here on now that you have it set up and working, here's how we can get it working even better and more fluid. What we want to note is that we want all of our Hertz here, all of them to be 48,000. So in the bottom bottom right of your screen on your toolbar, right click your, your speaker and then go to sounds. The most important thing is that we can match the Hertz with it, with all of this, okay? So make it 48,000, not higher, not lower. Make everything here that you are using to be 48,000 Hertz. Go to your, pro right click it, uh, go to advanced, go to 48,000 Hertz, okay? So match this. So all you gotta do, hit apply and then hit okay. Do that to whatever devices that you use through voice meter. Make sure it's 48,000 Hertz. Now we are going to turn on WDM input exclusive mode, okay? So make sure that's clicked on yes. And then also turn the engine mode to swift. So these things, none, none of what we're doing today is going to break your computer. So feel free to mess around and see what works and what doesn't work. WDM exclusive mode on. I have the engine mode set to swift. I have my buffering for WDM all the way down to 160. I wasn't able to go to 128. Maybe you can, maybe you can't even go to 160. So just keep lowering that buffer until it just stops working. I'm very happy with this. So another thing that's worth mentioning, I have headphones. So I have some HD 800 S's. I also have floor speakers that are connected to my PC. So if you have multiple output devices, speakers and headphones like I do, the most important one is probably your headphones. Make your headphones A1 and make your speakers A2. Another thing that is worth messing with, for my headphones, I have to do MME. Whenever I do WDM with my headphones, it starts crackling, it's bad audio, I can't use it. But my speakers, I can use WDM. Try to use WDM by default, if that doesn't work, try KS, then try MME. So now we have our latency down. You might also be having issues with your voice cracking on Discord. Invite in the description to my Discord, come join. Hopefully when you join, it looks different. I would like to overhaul this whole Discord. Um, so we'll go into our user settings, go to voice and video. Here's the mic test. This mic test for Discord is always going to make your mic sound worse. What this is helpful for is, are we detecting your microphone? Are you detecting the correct microphone? If you want, do the mic check and then tap your mic. If you can hear yourself tapping it, you're using the right mic. If we're using voice meter, use the mic test to hear if your voice is a robot. See how you sound, whether your microphone is bugging or not, but know that your audio quality is going to be significantly worse in this mic test. A lot of people say that they sound better when they're using voice meter output aux. So mess around with this. Let this be one of the things that you tweak and mess around with on your own settings. I like voice meter output. All right, so now I'll just scroll and then you just copy these settings yourself, okay? The only thing that should change is the sensitivity because that will be different depending on your microphone, your gain, where it is in relation to your mouth, all these things. So. Here we go. And 
And now one last thing. This one is kind of a pain in the butt because you have to do this every time you start up Windows unless you want to download a software that will do this for you. I'll put a link in the into the description to maybe another video or to a software that can automate this for you. But if after all of that, you are still having problems with your microphone sounding robotic and staticky, here's what we do. So go to your Windows search bar. Can I do it here? Okay. We will do task manager. So type that in. It's important you do this. And then right click it. Go run as administrator. So here are all my processes running. Go to details. So now we're looking for audio DG. So here it is for me. If you don't see it, it's because you didn't run it as administrator. So right click audio DG and then go to set priority and select high. Then go back and set affinity and now unclick all processors and then select one of your CPU cores. Now what I'm told is important and we're getting above my pay grade here is that you select a CPU that is a physical core as opposed to a threaded core. Um, I just selected two and it worked. So, Okay, so with all of that done, hopefully your voice meter is set up just at least a little bit better now. I personally, that was all worth it just for the latency. That was so nice. Again, there will always be increased latency because of the nature of what voice meter is. It's adding another process between you and getting your audio to, to your system. And that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share this with you guys. Hopefully you found it pretty helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for 2000 subscribers. And I think we're about to hit 800 members on my discord. That's incredible. That is so cool, especially since I don't upload that regularly. But maybe, but I, I think I would like to. I really think I'd like to. I'm just not entirely sure what, what it'll all be about, but keep an eye out. All right. Thank you again. I'll see you guys. Take it easy.